Okay guys, welcome back to another episode of Curless Minds. I'm your host for this evening, Ryan. I'm joined with my two alright mates, I guess. Just alright. Yeah. Not, uh, I thought we were besties. Well, not Darren, really obviously. I thought we were besties. Yeah. I don't know, you're alright, I suppose. You're my best friend. Like, top 20. I don't mean why, you know, I've just got the bad. Just, got nobody nowhere else nobody, to be. Yeah, nobody else would be with me, so yeah. I've just stuck with these two. Got nowhere else to be, so I thought, like, yeah. come round and do the podcast, it should yeah. be alright. Yeah. <laughs> Plus, I'm infecting you today with my cold. Yeah, so. Darren's got a cold, so yeah. next week we might not be here, mm-hmm. everyone. But yeah. It's in the news, three handsome devils from Wigan died during podcast due to... Yeah. Swine flu, and it's yeah. Darren's fault. It yeah. could be the plague, the bubonic plague. Could be, could yeah. be. Yeah. I've not seen any black rashes on the internet. <laughs> I've not There's looked one on your forehead there. I think it's your dirt, Darren. <laughs> Can I just make an announcement to our viewers? All right, okay, yes. So, right, yeah. Is it about what they find on the internet history? <laughs> no, no, no. no. It, I did not have sexual relations <laughs> with that woman. <laughs> right, okay. I have uh, an announcement for everybody. Cue the sad music, please. Last week an incident happened with one of our good friends that I think needs mentioning to make people aware of the dangers of parked cars. In particular cars situated in car showrooms. Our good friend was doing over 5 miles an hour and the stationary car came out of nowhere and hit him. It's terrible. He is now footed with an £800 bill and a severe carpal tunnel syndrome due to him holding the gear stick while it's in reverse gear. Our thoughts are with him and I was just wondering, Ryan, Darren, if we can I'll maybe look in our pockets, see if we can uh, put something towards the end of paying. Uh, got 50p uh, in yeah. my wallet, so yeah. I can sure, for sure have it. 20p and for some reason a buckle cap. Oh, okay. I've okay. got three uh, chewing gums as well. Oh, maybe okay. you could trade those. Yeah, yeah, yeah you could yeah. do. Nothing else, that's it? No. 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 Well, the thoughts are there anyway, but... Um, got a couple of tin cans that you could take to the... Uh, they still do tin can recycling. Yeah, they do. Yeah. Oh, I think they do, school, yeah. You used to yeah, have, a, do that. have the machine that crushed them all up. Did you have one? Like yeah. a little thing on the wall, and you put the can in, and you yeah. pull it down, and it crushes Do you know what I miss right, when you go to museums? They probably still have them, but I never actually use them. So you put money in, and it crushes the money into like a little... Oh, uh, yeah, where it um, squashes it. A little metal. Bit. Yeah. yeah. Right. Right. Do you know what I, I want to use again? Do you remember the... You put like a 2p in it? Spins all the way around. Oh, yeah, 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 it's yeah, faster yeah. to the you bottom. You still want me Marathons, do yeah. yeah, there we go. Anyway, this is a national warning for our listeners. Be careful of stationary cars. They are everywhere. And you could collide into one of them at any moment. International yeah, warning. You, you never think it's going to happen to you or, or one of your good friends, does it? But it happened last week, guys. Watch yeah. out. Anyway, that's when you're done. Those damn room. stationary cars. Yes. They're a menace. Yeah, they're, they're a menace. menace. Yeah. Okay, everyone. Uh, today's topic, if you've not already seen, is the internet. One zero one 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 zero zero one one zero one one. How dare you say that about my mother? <laughs> <laughs> it's actually about Darren's mother. It was 110, not 10. Ah, oh, damn it. Oh. I always get my binary code mixed up. <laughs> okay, so we're going to head straight into the Would You Rathers. I'm going okay. to start with Darren. Yeah. Darren, would you rather have slow internet speed or horrible mileage on your motor vehicle? Ooh, um, one's gonna cost you money. The other one's gonna cost you time, Darren. Yeah, that is it's also gonna time. cost you enjoyment. Not be able to potentially play. Computer I actually games. love the internet. I still can play the computer games. I can play offline. Be able to watch Netflix. Yeah, and I can't watch P- um, YouTube. <laughs> um, probably gonna go with the internet. Believe it or not, because mm. I think I can do without a car. I seem to be so coming, want to I'm seem the... becoming dead lazy now I'm driving because I, I just drive anywhere. I could drive to the local Tesco, hmm. which usually before I had a car, I would just walk a so you, jog there. Are you, picking, you, you said you're picking the internet. Well, what do you mean by that? Do you mean you, you're picking... Oh, I'm picking... I would rather have the... The low gas mileage. The low, low gas mileage. mileage. Yeah, yeah, sorry. No. I went a bit... A normal internet speed. Mm-hmm. Yeah, normal internet speed. Yeah. I think I would go with Darren and... Uh, Pick the uh, terrible gas mileage. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Me too, definitely, hundred yeah. percent. Yeah. Without a shadow of a doubt, mm. that's not even a difficult one for me. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next one, Phil. Moving on to you. Okay. Would you rather show your friends and family 
your entire internet search history right or live near an active volcano oh it's a tricky one isn't it? <laughs> die <laughs> or well maybe not die die of humiliation <laughs> Might not erupt, or it might. Am I, am I renting near this? Maybe you've got a mortgage. Have I got a mortgage? <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, if I've got a mortgage, I think I'd... Pompeii International Banking. <laughs> I would probably have to show everyone my internet history. Then. What have you rent to? Then I would <laughs> live near an active volcano. <laughs> yeah. uh, what do you think, Dara? I think it's with an internet... Um, Active volcano, don't they only go off about every? It's got to be in the triple figures when it goes off. Oh, there's some that have gone off fairly regularly. Yeah, I mean, they're, we've sti- been alive they're still build, build near Mount Vesuvius. Is it Mount Vesuvius? Yeah, yeah, Italy, yeah. yeah, they still build around there, don't they? So obviously, there's any people living there. So. I've been on some embarrassing websites, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> But I'll live next to the volcano. Yeah. yeah. I think I, I think I can go through my life without the volcano erupting. Mm. I think I will well, take No, it's chance. a given it's definitely gonna erupt once in your lifetime. In yeah. my lifetime. There's no way he's gonna pick the um <laughs> search history. I'll tell you why, because whenever I'm on his laptop, he's on full eagle eye watch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, on oh, the deep web. Yeah. He goes, Yeah, have you finished now? He keeps saying, yeah. Have you finished yet? No, no, not yet. Okay, I'll just wait here a bit longer. Maybe then. Is that all your shoulder watching what you're doing? Yeah, you know, sure. I hope the FBI's not watching this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> or listening to it. You can't watch a podcast, can you? So you're gonna pick? You'd rather live near an active volcano, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I pick the volcano as well because it's not a given that you're actually gonna no die. Mm. A lot of the time they erupt, or they know they're erupting, and have mm. at least some prior warning where they can start an evacuation or mm. get the place fully evacuated. Yeah. But, it's but, not a given, but it's but you are saying there's some given with the other one there. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're saying like you know, well, there's a chance I might not die, but he's not saying you know, there's nothing on my engine. Yeah. Brian has something to hide. <laughs> Well, well we, we all picked it, so game. clearly we all have something to hide. Okay, next one's a little bit more jovial. Uh, would you rather own Facebook or Reddit? Do you go on Reddit, Darren? Are you a big Reddit user? No. I think you'd like Why Reddit. Is Reddit? Is it like... Um... It's like a forum for everything, yeah. isn't it? When you're bored, oh, yeah. latest news, latest games. 100%, without a shadow of a doubt, be a Game of Thrones subreddit. I think well, it's love Reddit, it. then? Yeah. You just persuaded me that Reddit is much better than <laughs> Facebook. Although I bet there's a Game of Thrones group on Facebook as well. Yeah, there is. Darren's a member of 12 <laughs> and an admin of 14. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there's a girl at work who's put me and another mate at work on a Game of Thrones chat room. Right. So chat every time room she, yeah. <laughs> So every time something happens on Game, Game of Thrones, she would actually put it on this chat room. Right. Me and me have a mate to talk about it. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Room. yeah. So you're going to pick Reddit? You want to? Yeah, I'll go pick Reddit. Reddit. I don't yeah. know. I don't know where it is really, but hmm. I personally don't rate Reddit. I think it's a very messy website. So wow. yeah, I'd pick Facebook. I pick Reddit as well. Yeah. Definitely more fun to be had on Reddit than Facebook. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and you'd be super rich if you owned either of them as well. So yeah. money's not really an issue. Mm-hmm. You probably, I don't know. I guess you'd probably be more rich with Facebook. Facebook. But mm-hmm. if you've got 30 billion instead of 10 billion, it's not really, <laughs> it doesn't really make much of a difference, does no, it? No, I don't think you'll be going. No. And we're going, oh, damn it, when i got 10 billion, what the hell can I do? Yeah. <laughs> Can't do anything. Yeah, yeah he's not going to go on the door on that. <laughs> Although mm. people around here will probably still try. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, next one. Would you rather watch an epic win compilation okay. or an epic fail compilation? Epic fail compilation. Yeah. I, I knew that was coming fail. from Phil. Yeah. Yeah. He loves his epic fail videos. <laughs> There's nothing more satisfying than watching a child below the age of six falling over. No, no, this is PG rated Phil. <laughs> you go around tripping kids up. No, I don't trip them up, but... I might set traps up sometimes. <laughs> oh, yeah. At the local playground. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm, probably, I'm probably gonna keep an eye on you. I think yeah. the local police might be yeah. interested in this story. <laughs> I just want to edit the, some of this out so it says, yeah. "I like to trap kids." <laughs> Young man trapped kid in playground. <laughs> it's nothing more satisfying. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, what about you, Darren? What about you? Epic fail. He's a... Yeah, I don't, I'm not that keen on seeing somebody succeed. <laughs> so <laughs> All right. Apart yeah. from yourself. Have you ever watched no. an epic win compilation? Yeah. Some of them are really awesome. Yeah, some of them yeah, are awesome. They're really awesome. But yeah, I'm, I'm not really that interested if someone's got a talent. If they've got a talent that I can enjoy, like, say, they've got... Uh, the Full knowledge the, of Game of Thrones. Full knowledge of Game of Thrones. Are they like... Play the guitar, or well, that's the violin, what an epic or something. Compilation is. Somebody doing a trip. Yeah, but it's usually just like somebody kicks a ball from God knows where and it lands in no, the net. No, there's loads of stuff. Skateboarding stuff. And not interesting. Skydiving. Not interesting. Skydiving. People playing guitars. No, and... Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which one do you pick? I picked the epic win compilation. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. You um, can't laugh at that though, can you? I know, but you can be amazed. Yeah, it's you can. just as good. Mm. 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 Okay, would you rather live in a library with no computer or a closet with a computer and Wi-Fi but nothing else? It's not a very library. big room. It's only for a, a small amount of time. Okay. Let's say, say 30 days, not forever. The library, because you didn't say there was any food. Or... Well, you, you <laughs> sustain, water in the... you've, got, you've got one <laughs> pill that gives you all the sustenance you need for yeah. 30 days. No, I still pick the library. I mean, you can have kind of, kind of a lot of enjoyment from books. Ah, I can anyway. We could have a lot of enjoyment from books. Yeah. I don't think Phil would That'd get us so much yeah. enjoyment. Yeah. I'm, saying, I'm saying that I've got a Kindle now, so I'm not buying proper books anymore. I'm doing the same. I've got a mate. It does make me feel guilty a bit when I go to a bookshop. You know, just have a look around and see what books are. Like. And mm. It does make me feel a little bit guilty. Yeah. I've got a Kindle. Books are right, Darren. Kindles are I know that's what makes me feel guilty <laughs> about it. Yeah. I'm all about saving space, but I'd, I'd pick the closet um, with uh, full of internet rather than the library. What am I going to do in the library? It's a fire hazard, if anything. Why well, would you yet? set fire to the books when you're <laughs> inside a locked library? <laughs> I'm not, not going to set it to, but what I'm saying is... I'm Where going... would you rather be in a fire, in a giant library or in a closet? <laughs> yeah, but there's nothing to set fire in a closet. The carpet, um, the wooden door. <laughs> I suppose. Okay, the next one. Would you rather live without any internet access or without shoes for the rest of your life, including socks? I don't know. It is a nice feeling not having any shoes or socks on, but it's not a nice feeling when you stand on the nail, for instance. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, but no internet as well. You'd be pretty bored, wouldn't you? It is sad that the, the whole human race is, it is, is getting really bored sad that, without having internet access. I don't think it's sad. I is think it? it's just a, a natural evolution. Like in work, we have free Wi Fi, and if it's not working that day, the whole areas get crazy. I want shoes and socks, so I'd, I'd pick w without the internet, please. Okay. So the thing about it is, I do a lot of writing and stuff, and I use Google Images to check my spelling. Google Images? Yeah. I, I know, know it has spell check, but because I'm dyslexic and dis I've got loads of learning disabilities, sometimes I pick the wrong word, so it's easier to use Google. Images? Images, yeah. I don't get it. Well, you search for something. Yeah. And it comes up with the image. Oh, you just use Google. And it, uh, yeah, that's... a bit where it speaks to you. That's better. Yeah. Yeah, but you can sometimes use the images. Oh, I never really thought about that. I usually so... type it in, and then when it's wrong, it comes up, did you mean this? And you go, oh, yeah, I did mean that. <laughs> <laughs> So, oh, it's a really difficult one then, because I don't think if I didn't have the internet, I wouldn't be doing any writing. I think I put a stop to it because it'd be too stressful. You think? So I'd probably go for the internet. I'd just put some bags over my feet. Yeah, well, yeah. there you go. I'd go. Um, you could no shoes and socks. Yeah, you? definitely. No shoes and socks. As in, you wouldn't have shoes and no. socks? Not that big of a deal. Mm, until you stand on that rusty nail. Well, no. Messed you up. get calluses and. Uh, the skin will thicken quite quickly. You'll be alright after yeah. a moment. I won't be able to skateboard either. Of course you could. I'd be tearing my feet apart. Well, I'll just get better tape for the top. Yeah. Stick a bit of a cushion on it. Sponge. <laughs> I think it'd be kind of <laughs> difficult for you to skate barefooted. Yeah. Nah. It'll be soft, though. Okay, this one's for you, Darren. Go on, then. Would you rather have the ability to unlock any Wi-Fi password or have super sight? So not just like 2020 vision, but Zoom. not x-ray vision, but you know, like anything else apart from x-ray vision that you can imagine. So you can zoom in and see yeah. things really far away. And... Wi-Fi password, that means I can just use internet when I make a bite. Yeah, but... choose somebody's home internet. Yeah, for all that stuff you download, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's a good point. You know what I mean? 
I still got uh, the supervision. Although I don't think I'll use it that much. Probably just to perb on someone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's about it. I'm zooming in, by the just, way. Yeah, just zooming in on someone's on the neighbours. Ooh, what they were too. Yeah. Um, I don't know. It's pretty cool to uh, on that Wi-Fi password. Mm. No, yeah, I, I would pick uh, learn every learn everyone's Wi-Fi password. Be able to um, unlock Wi-Fi. Okay, so this is the last one. Back to you, Phil. Yep. Would you rather the only websites you would be able to access are Facebook and Twitter or Wikipedia and fanfiction.net? Wikipedia and fanfiction.net. Um, Facebook, it's a bit overrated. I do use it sometimes. I think what I enjoy most about Facebook is not really what its primary use is. But I, 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 well, I guess it is. See much <laughs> Yeah. 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 <laughs> see if you can find any bikini No, pictures. but keeping in contact with people who... It's difficult to get hold of otherwise. Mm. Darren? Oh, that's an easy one. I'll go for Wikipedia and fanfiction. Do you use fanfiction.net? Kind of, I've never actually read any fanfiction, but I imagine that some of them are quite good. I think you like it. Yeah, I think you should I check think it I out. I would actually yeah. like fanfiction. They've got Game of Thrones fanfiction as well, I bet. Yeah, I've never read I any. I can imagine what the Game of Thrones fanfiction will be like. I bet you can't what, imagine I what can they'll imagine be like. I imagine they'll be pretty disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> some of them are really good at writers, aren't they? Yeah, I've not checked it out yet. You keep telling me. There's some actual authors who started in fan fiction. One obviously famous one who wrote Fifty Shades of Grey. Well, I mean, class that as an class of it as an author. Very judgmental of you, Darren. I'm a very judgmental guy. Oh, that's true. You've ever read Fifty Shades of Grey? No, I've not read Fifty Shades of Grey. I've seen the film, but I bet you have. One of the worst films I've I've seen. It's not even sexy. If you're going in there to actually get your rocks off on it, you won't get your rocks off. Yeah. Oh, get what you mean. 1920, Darren. I can't say really explicit on the air. Of course you can. I thought there was possibly PC on this. Okay, so we're on to Curlis Fact or Curlis Fiction. Fact or fiction. fiction. Or true or false. No whichever true or way false. you want to do it. Fact or fiction. I think it's fact. The clues in the title now. So. Okay, so number one, Darren. On eBay, there is an average of six hundred and eighty dollars worth of transactions every single second. You know, I probably think it's probably even more than that. Mm. I imagine it's quite a lot. But you know what? I'm just gonna go for fact. I'm going for fact. I'm gonna go with fiction. I reckon it is more. I think he's okay. tricking us with the numbers. Gonna watch it for a Yeah. Mm-hmm. It he could did. have been more, but it could have been more, but it wasn't more. Oh. Darren's correct. It is in fact a fact. <laughs> Darren storms into the lead. There are approximately, I guess maybe a little bit old this figure, but there are six point eight billion people on the planet and four billion of them use a mobile phone, but only 3.5 billion have a toothbrush. Um, I'm going to say that's fact. Mm. I'm going to go for fiction on that one. Ooh, Phil's right. Ooh. One on there. That's quite shocking, that. <laughs> yeah. Next one's for you. Hewlett Packard, Microsoft, and Apple have one not so obvious thing in common. They were all started in a shed in the back garden of the home that they lived in. Fact. Yeah, I know Apple certainly was started off in a shed. Mm-hmm. I'm going to say fact as well. It's actually fiction. Oh. Oh. I've been a little bit sneaky here. Is there uh, one in there that didn't? No, they were all started in a garage, not a shed. Oh, damn. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> oh. Yeah. A shed in a garage is probably No, so definitely not the same thing. thing. Definitely More not the same less. thing. Shed in a garage. Yeah, no, they're not doing carriage what you shut, shut up, shut up, shut up. Okay. Shut up, just shut was up, it, shut up. It was a bit sneaky and underhanded, that, that one. I will, I will, I will say. But, nevertheless, you fell for it, so I'm more for you. Okay. A single Google search query uses 1,000 computers in 0.2 seconds to retrieve an answer. A fact. Sounds good for fact. I'm going to say fiction. I reckon it's probably less than 0.2 of a second. Darren's right. Oh, no. <laughs> I didn't even know that one. I just randomly picked one. It's a good guess, Darren. Okay, Phil, this next one's for you. Let's okay. see if you can redeem yourself. Pull it back a little bit. He's only winning by one. Yes, yes. Uh, the most 
commonly searched question beginning with what is in 2013 was what is twerking in what year 2013 2013 yeah i'm gonna say fact so it's not a fact i also think that's a fact to tell you the truth yeah because um I remember thinking, what the hell was twerking? Twerking. There's only two girls at work, Sean. Have you tried it? Yeah, she told me to show try it. Yeah, she told me to show us now, though. Yeah, show us. All right. It's all right, though. Yeah. Right. No, you know, you got the ass for it, though. Don't for it. Yeah, mate, I've got a really nice ass. No. I've got yeah. a lot of bump in my trunk. Bump in your trunk. <laughs> is that the right term at all? I think so, yeah. It's junk, eh? Not bump. Oh, yeah, it is junk. Oh, is it junk? Why would you have junk in your trunk? Why would you have a bump in your trunk? Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, yeah Probably it's both. I don't know. I'm not an expert on slang terminology. Okay. Next one. Darren. Google literally had to buy the Gmail domain from a Garfield the Cat website called Garfield Mail. There's a little picture of Garfield on and yeah, Google had to buy it off them. So it wasn't called Garfield the Mail, it was called Gmail. Hmm. Mm. I'm thinking that might be fiction. Mm. It could be true, but I'm thinking fiction. Mm. Yeah, fiction. You're both wrong. Oh, it's a fact. Oh, I'm doing rubbish fact. today. Yeah, you are. <laughs> oh dear. Okay. Well, Darren, you're still in the lead. Uh, me and Garfield share so much in common. Well, yeah. You both uh... with lasagna. <laughs> <laughs> both ginger. Oh, where's your shit? Both hate Mondays. <laughs> Actually, I don't hate Mondays. I never usually work on Monday. I don't get that. Why does Garfield not like Mondays? He hasn't got a job. Do anything, <laughs> it's the day he has to sign on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Okay, Phil, you've got two chances here. Two, two. more questions to okay. claw it back. Okay. Okay, okay. this one's for this. you. Yeah. The first ever live webcam on the internet was used to monitor... Uh, a fridge in a canteen in Cambridge University. I wouldn't say that's fiction. That's just ludicrous. I can see that being fact, actually. I know what these Cambridge start to like, and they want to take care of their fridges. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I think it's probably fact. Mm, it is actually a fact. Oh, they no. had it in the kitchen. Uh, I guess it was um, not just at the fridge, but it was pointed... Uh, in the kitchen, okay. um, looking at like a coffee pot and other stuff to okay. check, so they knew if there was uh, there was coffee was in the coffee pot. Yeah, the somebody, oh. somebody wasn't mm. making them. Is it the inside of the fridge? Well, it's not it? in the fridge. No, no. it's just in just the, the canteen, is what I meant. Really, oh, yeah. but, you know, fridge, yeah, yeah, yeah. canteen, yeah, kitchen. Okay. Yeah. Mainly pointed at the coffee pot, I think, just to see, so they could all check if there was coffee in it before they set off to go down to the canteen. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Mm. okay. This is the last one, Phil. I can't win. You can't win. Could be slightly less embarrassed though. Mm. Using your phone in a petrol station will risk an explosion or fire. I remember hearing something about this. Mm. I remember hearing that they said, oh, we'll never use your phone because it can do that. But I think it's like the um, mobile phone on a plane. When they say if you use your mobile phone on a plane, it can knock up the um, computers on the plane and Things can fall out of the sky. Knack-up is the correct terminology. Mm. Yeah. yeah. It's a technical but, term. Yeah, knack -up. Most people won't understand it when they're listening. But for all yeah, the people is. wondering what he meant by that, he means knacker up, but he just sort of A lot of people use knack up. Knack up? Yeah. I've never heard of it. It's a common, it's a common phrase. Is it? Okay. Go on, carry on. Sorry. Anyway, I think it's a uh, fiction. Okay, Phil. It, it's so weird that you should bring this question up, because last night in bed, I was watching Mythbusters, mm. and they were testing whether a mobile phone can reduce static electricity and cause a spark in a gasoline station. So, it's fiction, it can't. Right. I would have given you a point for either fact or fiction. Could you? Yeah, I would have given you a point for either of them. Um, the common belief, as Phil says, on Mythbusters and other things that have looped into it is that it's um, almost impossible for a mobile phone um, to ignite the petrol while you're using it. In fact, there's only one reported case uh, of a cell phone being involved in a gas station or petrol station fire, and later on in the investigation, it was ruled out that that was actually the cause. Right. Um, although they do say uh, most 
safety organisations that you shouldn't do it because mm. there's a very slim, albeit quite remote, chance that yeah. it, it could in fact do yeah. it. So you would have got points for either of them, but you mm. both got points as it is because you picked fiction. Um, which means the scores finish at 5-3 to Darren. Yay! Darren. I'm going to get you on the quiz. So. I think that's 3 out of 3. Darren's run both fact or fictions and the quiz. That's like why I've been in charge. That's yeah. it? Right, okay. Mm. Darren, you're Darren. Hey Darren, you're so fine. You're so fine, you blew my mind. Hey Darren. Hey Darren. Hell yeah. Okay. It's fair. So, we're moving on to Area 52. Okay. In the deepest, darkest corners of the dark web, oh, dark. Dark. there is a website of the most magical and amazing properties. You can log into the site and upload one thing that annoys you, peeves you off, frustrates you, or is an act that you find absolutely unforgivable. Amazingly, once you've uploaded it, this thing will just cease to exist for the rest of time. Hopefully. Making the world a little bit of a better place. Yeah. Hmm. We'll start impressed. with Darren this week. Man's gonna be midges. 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 Okay. Not midget still. Oh, right. Midges. <laughs> oh, I was getting excited. Then. I was like, okay, it's going in. Yeah. <laughs> so let's just explain. I don't think they'll be called midges elsewhere. No. I don't know what you would call them. They're not quite mosquitoes, but the mosquito-like things, aren't mm. they? Little mm. annoying fly-type mm. things. Mm. Usually find nice. them in summer evenings more than mm. yeah, anything they, else. Yeah, they're teeny, they're out. really small. Mm. But mm. I've just got a massive midge bite on me. Mm. But uh, it's getting better now, actually. But it's itchy like mad. You when you're working it. Why would I go in there and eat for a midge bite? Oh, <laughs> I've been bitten! Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> oh my god, get this guy a doctor! Stop! <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I hate them. I know, I know all that hippie stuff in this app. All animals have a place within Mother Earth, but I can't stand them. So you're putting, you want midges? You want midges. I 100% agree with Darren. There's mm. nothing worse than a midge bite. Oh. Yeah. I actually yeah. got bit yesterday though. Yeah, yeah. I, I didn't know, but later on during the night I thought, what is that? And it's a midge bite. So I agree, yeah. yeah. Little bastards. That's what yeah, they're little <laughs> bastards. Obliterate them all. Luckily, I don't go outside that much, so I don't have to worry yeah. about them quite as much as I used to when I was younger. But mm. nevertheless, definitely very annoying. Mm. Definitely. Mm. So we're both in agreement, Darren. That can mm. be uploaded and cast away from this world forever. Yeah. Mm. Phil, you got a cheeky grin on your face. I know we, we sort of call you for saying this right, but it's people who say the word Pacific instead of specific. Yeah. So all people. Mm. Pacifically, I don't care. See, like that mm. irritates me. Quite an eye. It's lazy. Right, say the right way. word. Unless you have a, an actual speech impediment where you can't say it. I mean, I've got a speech impediment. Well, then you're excluded. Say specific. Specific. I don't know, they just annoy me. It's just lazy. And they've just gotten so used to saying it now. Oh, you know what I mean, specifically? And you're like, well, no, I don't know what you mean, specifically. Do you mean specifically? And you go, yeah, whatever. And I don't know, they just annoy me. So I want to throw in these people. I do agree with you. Okay. I find it quite interesting that you, of all people, are bringing this well, yeah. um, topic up because you're, you're quite well known in our little circle of friends for, for maybe what? using the wrong word. On a number of occasions. <laughs> I just use whatever word comes to my mind, but I say it correctly. Mm, maybe. Maybe not in the right context, but I certainly say specifically. Or uh, protruding. Mm. Or jizzamong jango. Or phonetically. <laughs> or vehicle. Although Ryan keeps saying the vehicular. American word. <laughs> vehicular. I don't get how they say it. <laughs> vehicular. Vehicular. Vehicular manslaughter. What about vehicle? V he V. Vehicle. 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 Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Anyway, I want to throw in people that say Pacific. I can in, yeah, I guess so. That's... Get rid of them. If it's if it's done, that's fine. Can't say it. I'm allowing that, that's fine. They're incapable of saying it, but it's the ones that have just learned it from someone else and think that is the right way of saying oh, it. Oh, but did they, do you well, actually believe it's an out rare? And poor, did you correct on their poor thinking? Poor education? Uh, yeah, yeah. They've right. right. seen it somewhere yeah, on the wrong. internet, for instance. See? Maybe they don't Topical. have the internet because they don't have enough money. Oh, exactly. Not everyone yeah. in the world has the internet. Well, that means they can't listen to Curl's Minds. So you don't care about it. <laughs> Throw them in as well. No. So you're putting the poo in. <laughs> yeah. You yeah. know what? No, actually, no. No, I'm not going to lie that. No. I think you're just being a bit snobby. Mm. Yeah. You're being a bit snobby, but I do agree with you. I would have yeah. thrown it in for so. yeah. Darren's veto. Although, as well. 
I've got to say, some things, some things where some people do speak do annoy me. Yeah. Uh, you mean like um, Londoners or Liverpoolians? No, I'm not. I'm oh. not bad about Londoners and Liverpool, Liverpoolians. 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 The ones that go specifically go to the pub. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't deny me. Yeah. <laughs> Are you a Liverpoolian? Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Uh, well, it's been vetoed, Phil, so unfortunately, yeah. you've not had much luck with these. If I remember yeah. correctly, the last few weeks you've, you've been vetoed. I think you have like a secret, <laughs> <laughs> no, a secret, a secret meeting. What was your last one? Um, toilet paper with glue on. Oh, yeah. You know, I'll tell you something. I was in work in a e doing the night shift. Somebody had needed a poo. I got the toilet roll out. Could I get the blooming um, glue off the toilet roll? No, I couldn't. You know what I've used? I don't have this problem. I used a wet one instead. Do you know, yeah, I think this is more of a, an issue of Phil specifically, or specifically, <laughs> rather than any form of toilet roll. Because I can't say I've ever had so much trouble unwrapping a toilet roll. I'm going to show you one of my toilet I've rolls. never had any trouble unwrapping toilet roll. That's because you never unwrap it. You let your dad do it first. <laughs> if there's no toilet roll, you go... Ah, I just wet my hand. <laughs> Wash it. Takes his t-shirt off. And just <laughs> yeah, yeah. He just wipes it on the wall like a dog. Runs yeah. it. Yeah. Out yeah. Some grass and yeah. runs forward. That's why I don't. Mm. Yeah, it could be. I'm going to give you some toilet roll. I'm going to watch you struggle by. I struggle with the first bit going off. But That's just... what I'm talking about. Where else you is the glue on it? You thought no. I meant the glue on the inside? Yeah. Are you kidding me? <laughs> 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 Well, <laughs> that yeah. was interesting. An interesting revelation by Darren. Yeah. He's had it wrong all these weeks, mm-hmm. but nevertheless. There's only this one I didn't know mm-hmm. he meant. Uh, well, we don't know. That's the only one that we're aware of so far. Well, what was your one before that? I, you know, I did Bank Holidays. And okay, like, ah. Bank No. no. <laughs> that, that was rubbish. That, <laughs> that was rubbish. <laughs> I can't think there's a single listener out there who agrees with you that Bank Holidays shouldn't exist. Well, free time off work. Yeah, it's not so bad when you're inside, but it's when you're out and you're joining the queues. You may as well but do it while you're in the queue. Stay I don't know, I know. Well, that's what I'm going to do on the bank holiday. Sick of people. Mm. You know, just have a day of relaxing. Yeah. Phil doesn't like relaxing. No, I can't oh. relax. As you can oh, see, I'll be marooning and room around again today. That's the worst way you've ever had it, actually, I might say. Yeah, hey, it's quite a few of you. You won't be able to see the TV. Right? Yeah, but think, Pew, but... your neighbours can watch your TV as well. Yeah, well, I just don't broadcast... Um, um, personal material on the screen. <laughs> no, dear. I'm I'm really guilty of that actually walking. What looking at other people's TVs? <laughs> yeah. <through> the <laughs> I am. Well, what past like... someone's house? I do actually have a quick peep. Who wondering what they're watching? Confirmed. Peeping Darren top. is a peeping top. Yeah. Do you know it's strange this podcast because I was going to pick nosy neighbours. I read it. <laughs> <laughs> it was in there as well. I wasn't going to pick one this week, but I'm going to pick a nosy people. My mum's murder for it, actually. I don't really want to throw my mum into the... When there's uh, like an ambulance outside. Like, oh, what's in that letter? Who's it from? Oh, yeah. Ooh, what's that? Yeah. 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 What if there's like police outside? Does your mum start getting involved? Or? No, she doesn't get involved, but she'll be like, oh, I wonder what that's all about. Do you know what that's all about? <laughs> and it's going to shock you, this guys, but I'm quite stubborn sometimes. Right. So even if I do know what's going on, I'll yeah. say, oh, I don't know. Yeah, okay. Just because I don't like just nosy don't people. Because the people do it at work and everywhere. Mm. I just hate people who are, yeah. stick their oars in. Mm. Yeah, no, I agree. Stick mm. them in. I actually agree with you as well. Yeah. Even yeah. though I just said I do actually like <laughs> looking at other people's televisions. I'm nosy bastard. Oh, yeah, I 100% agree. Okay, everyone, we're moving on to the Crazy Curlers quiz time. We've revamped the quiz a little bit this week, everyone. The question will be asked, and then we will be introducing some props. Got some buzzers. If you know the answer, you'll buzz in. So, Phil, let them hear your buzzer. Puppy Sounds power! Good. Puppy, yeah, it does sound like skinny. Darren? So there we go, that's Phil, that's Darren, so that's going to be their buzzers. After I've read the question, if they buzz in and they get it correctly, they get two points Ooh. for a correct answer. Okay. If neither of them know the answer to the question and they don't buzz in, then we move on to multiple choice. If you get the multiple choice answer correct, you only get one point though. So it is going to be beneficial if okay. you know the answer up front and go for it. Yeah. I will say this though, guys. For every question that you get wrong... <laughs> There is going to be a slight punishment at okay. the end of the quiz. Yeah. So I know you've been eyeing these up, Phil. Mm, okay. They look tasty. Um, we have in front of us a packet of jelly beans. Okay. Mm. Okay. 
And each colour of jelly bean has two potential flavours. Some of them could be tutti frutti, Ooh. butter popcorn, Ooh, yeah, well. juicy pear, mm. coconut, blueberries, chocolate pudding, mm, mm. nice. caramel popcorn, mm. and licorice. My brother likes licorice. Some of the other flavours that they could be though. Stinky socks. Mmm. Right, okay. Rotten eggs. Right. Bath. Okay. Lawn clippings. Toothpaste. Canned dog food. Mouldy cheese. Mm, or my yeah, personal favourite, skunk spray. For each question that you get wrong, you've got yeah. to eat a bean at the end of it. Okay. So, are you both ready? Yeah, I'm buzzers, ready. Buzzers at the ready. Let's go. Okay. Google enlists the help of software to scan the volumes of video footage uploaded to YouTube every day to ensure that intellectual property is not infringed. How much footage does this software scan every single day? So we've got multiple choice, guys. A, 10 days. B, 50 days. C, 50 days. That's correct. Yes! One point, Darren, you're going to lose this. And you're going to puke with the beans. You actually don't get a point for that one, Phil, uh, because Darren starts with you at minus one. Oh. So you're back <laughs> up to zero, zero. Nil, nil. Okay. But it nevertheless, it. It you've got that one out of the way. You've got up there, so you're on level peggings now, moving okay. forward. Yeah. Number two. Uh, it took the radio 38 years and the television 13 years to reach 50 million users. How long did it take the internet to reach this same amount? We'll go straight into the multiple choice there. Yeah, the guys are very nervous good. with the beans, yeah. and it's to be expected, uh, I think. A, four years. B, two years. <laughs> Phil? I'm going to say two years. Oh, dear. Oh, no. That is one bean for Phil. Darren, would you like to answer? Do you want me to finish the finish selections? The yeah, A, four years. B, two years. C, six months. Or D, eight years. I'm going to go for eight years. Oh, dear me, Darren, you've also wrong. Okay, guys, um, the score's still 0-0, zero, zero, but uh, we have one punishment being each for Phil and Darren. Moving into the third question. What was the most searched Google term, beginning with how-to in 2015? This is UK search term, UK-based. Uh, okay, I don't even want to guess this. No, no. I wouldn't think so. I think... <laughs> Oh my god, Darren's got it! Out of twerk. It's not right, no. Oh, that's 2013, that's Darren. Correct. Although, good try, Darren. Good try. So, Phil, you get the multiple choice. I'll you don't have them. to buzz in. Okay. Okay, so the options are how to solve a Rubik's Cube, okay. how to make a pinhole camera, okay. how to lose belly fat, okay. how to get rid of brain freeze. I think it's how to make a pinhole camera. Oh dear. Oh no. Was yeah. it the belly fat? It was indeed the belly fat, yeah. That would have been my second choice. Uh, belly fat was number oh, one. Yeah. Brain freeze was number two. Uh, pinhole camera was number six. Okay. And Rubik's Cube was number ten. So they were all in the top ten, but mm -hmm. you don't get a point for that down, unfortunately. Moving into the next one. We're going to be staying with Google searches, uh, but this time it's a global Google search. It's not just the UK. Okay. So, what was the most searched film of 2015? Oh, Darren's buzzed in. Star Wars Episode 7. Um, what was the subtitle for that, though? Uh, you don't need to tell me because. the subtitle, Darren, because you're wrong. So oh. that's another punishment oh. for you. Oh, really? That. Yep. In 2015? Mm hmm. No. It's not even in the top 10. I'll have the multiple choice, please. I don't believe Phil. that. A. Fifty Shades of Grey. B. American Sniper. C. Furious Seven. Or D. Jurassic World. Oh, it's between Fifty Shades of Grey and Jurassic World. I think Fifty Shades of Grey. No. Is it Jurassic Park? It's Jurassic World. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm not doing very good at this quiz. So. No, you've, you've each, you're still on zero, zero. Maybe the pressure's getting to you guys. I am. Maybe the pressure's still as well. I feel it thin. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm ill as well, so. Yeah, that, whatever. That to whatever. It. Okay, question five. Every minute, how much footage is uploaded to YouTube? We'll move into the multiple choice. We've got A, four minutes every minute. 
B, four hours every minute. C, 40 hours every minute. I'm going to go with 40 hours. Yeah, that's not right, so unfortunately. Oh. Or D, 400 hours every minute. So for 400. That's correct. Oh, no. 400 hours. Darren storms into the lead 1-0. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But um, you've both got a reasonable amount of punishments here. Yeah, we yeah, yeah. So, it's yeah. not good. It's not good, no. Well, it's good for me, mm. and it's good for the listeners, but yeah, it's not, not particularly good. good for you two, unfortunately. Oh, yeah. I'm looking forward mm. to trying some grass clippings. <laughs> well, that's I'm not the worst forward. one. No, it's nowhere close <laughs> to the worst one. No, I'm just a rotten egg. That's oh. the one I'm nervous oh, about. Lime? You like lime? <laughs> <laughs> Lime's one of the good flavors. Oh, is it? All right. <laughs> I'm not looking for the like wish. Okay, next one. We've got a bonus question on this one. Okay. okay. So you won't get a punishment if you get the bonus question wrong, but okay. it does offer you an opportunity to knock one of the uh, the punishments off. Okay. okay. Uh, so the f- initial question, which is, will count towards the score and punishments. Google handles how many search queries every day? Multiple choice. Multiple choice. A, 100 million. B, 1 billion. C, 500 million. D, 1 trillion. Tails, <laughs> was there? 500 million? Oh, that's not right. Um, you get one more punishment. It's going to be... Ah, really bad with numbers, all this kind of stuff. Part of me wants to answer the trillion for some reason. It will be a lot. Mm. It will be a lot, yeah. Um, you know what? I'm just going to go for massive risk and say the trillion. Yeah, no, that's not right, Dan. Sorry. Oh, no, it's yeah. one, billion, one billion, approximately. That's halfway yeah. there. Okay, so for the bonus question, okay, guys, there is a multiple choice in the bonus question as well. Okay. If you buzz in and get it right, without the multiple choice, you get two punishments off. Okay. Okay, okay same awesome. rules. So, bonus question is, how much CO2, or carbon dioxide, uh, does the running of the computers that handle these searches produce? One tonne, 100 tonnes, 200 tonnes, or 500 tonnes? 500 tonnes. No, that's not right. Oh, no. 200? 200 is correct. Tara gets one punishment knocked off. He's only on three punishments, Phil, you're on five. Uh, luckily for you, there's only three more questions, so you've got a maximum chance of eight beans. Okay. But you need to really pick it up because Darren's beating you in the quiz as well. Mm-hmm. What percentage of adults have their mobile phone within reach every day? I'm going to go uh, straight up from a movie and say 99%. 99%. No, that's not right. The options are 100%. 95%, 91%, or 50%? Oh. <laughs> I'll probably go for 91. 91, Darren is right. Oh. Yeah, I was going to say 85%. Mm. Well. Okay. Sticking with percentages, guys. Okay. Now, there's been a lot of numbers which uh, on paper Darren wouldn't have been happy with, but you're in the lead, Darren. You've got the most points and the least punishments. Yay. Yeah. Number eight. What percentage of marriages have happened between people who have met online? I'm going to give you the multiple choice straight up because I don't think you'll know it. Yeah. So you've got A, 10%, B, 20%, C, 30%, or D, 50%. Darren. 30. 30. It's not right. I'm sorry, Darren. Back up to four punishments. Phil? I'm going to go with 10%. Yeah, that's wrong as well. Oh. It's 20%. 20%. It is actually the most popular way of meeting uh, your spouse really? in the world. Really? Yeah. Really? You need to go outside, eh? That's true. Yeah. Well, there's a pint. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, next one. How much of web traffic is media streaming or file sharing? We've got the options of A, 25%, B, 40%, C, 50% or D, 70%? Phil, <laughs> straight in there. You can go with C, 50%. Oh, Phil. <laughs> it's all <laughs> said wrong. It's wrong. I forgot to say, it, man. <laughs> it's that <laughs> third. Darren, Phil's yeah. got 15, that's wrong. So you've got 25, 40, or 70%. Uh, I'm just going to go 20. 
Yeah, that's not right. That wasn't even one of the options. Did you read that one out? Yeah. Alright. No, I didn't say 20. I said 25. Don't, you said 20. Okay, guys, we've got the last one. Phil, you cannot win. You cannot draw. Winner takes all the beans. Oh, no. Winner takes all the beans. That You've got five beans currently. And Phil's got eight beans. I want to watch him eat these eight beans. It's a lot of beans. Okay, no, so if Darren it? wins, he eats half of your beans. Okay, yeah. You still eat some. Yeah. And if you win, yeah. you eat half of Darren's beans. So he's right. still got to eat some. Yeah. So the final scores will either be you have to eat four. Yeah. Darren has to eat nine, uh -huh. or you have to eat eleven. <laughs> yeah, eleven. Let's go. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna win it. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. The most watched video on YouTube is a music video. Which music video is it? <laughs> oh, Darren's got it. He's pinned you to the post. I can be sings it, but it's got to Gangnam Style. Oh my God, Darren's won it! I was going to say it as style. well. I was going to say Gangnam it as style. well. I can't believe it. I was going to buzz in. Bonus <laughs> point: if you can tell me how many views it's got, I'll take two two off for you. Phil. How many views? Mm. Did you get multiple choice. Uh, one point one billion, one point three billion, one point five billion, or two point five billion. 2.5 billion. Well done, you can have a point take now. <laughs> Yay! So Darren wins the quiz 4 0. Yay! 4 0, Phil. Half of his beans taken off. So yeah, Phil's going to eat 10 beans. Darren, you've got to eat 3 beans. Okay. I'm going to pick the beans so you guys can't just pick all of one colour. Okay. Uh, so Phil, you've got 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Ten. Darren, you've got three. Uh, none of them Good smell smelling. particularly good. One, two. Oh, it smells like shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's a shit one. <laughs> uh, I would like to point out to the listeners that I'm not a hundred percent cruel and unthoughtful host. I have brought them um, a drink and some mints that they can use. And a uh, sick bowl. Yeah. Uh, but. Yeah, unfortunately, you don't get to watch this, guys. Maybe we need to introduce yeah. a camera to the podcast and upload it to YouTube, <laughs> because this, I imagine, is going to be gold. One, two, three, go. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. It's not too bad, actually. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I think I just got a TT Fruity one, so it's not one? too bad. What colour the white one? Like Coconut that? or baby mm. wipes? Oh, Oh, <laughs> oh, that's the worst one yet. What's that? that oh, this one's nasty. A double white one. Got to eat it. Like oh, that is bad. What, what's the orange one? Bad. <laughs> oh God! Go get a drink, Phil, if you want. What's the other right one? Oh, yeah. No, that was it. The um, of rotten egg. That's what I had. <laughs> Come on, give me a good one. All right, this one, like a pinky Mr. Blobby one. That is, I'm not looking forward to it. Fruity, fruity, how stinky so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, why? why are they all bad? That's <laughs> what <laughs> No, this one's bad as well. I've got this punk one. <laughs> you got what? Come punk. Scum. 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 Oh, dear. This one's bad. Gun. <laughs> I'll finish mine. Licorice, licorice. licorice. <laughs> No, no, not the like crisp. <laughs> What's that one? Oh, Scums. oh god! <laughs> oh, guys, you, I wish you were here and you could see it. It's brilliant. <laughs> I've not had one good one yet. <laughs> All right, blue one. What could it be? Oh, it's one of the toothpaste or blueberries? Right. Or even toothpaste. It's toothpaste. Like <laughs> it's not blueberry. Yeah, toothpaste. It's doable. It's still but a bad one. Is it, is it toothpaste or blueberry? Yeah. Are you sure? There are some good ones, aren't there? Yeah. Um, not 100% sure. Right, an orange bed one. The rotten egg one was bad. Why are they all bad? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I've also watched that one. Bad. Oh, that's a bad one, that. That's the worst one. <laughs> oh my god, this is horrible. Alright, I can't believe that people are going to go, God, turn this off, it's going to have too long. We've got like four more. Alright, <laughs> a pinky one. 
Oh, it's a big one. I don't know. Tutti frutti. No, no it's the no. dog frutti. Not tutti frutti, no. Right. Oh man, that stinks. <laughs> I got two white ones and a white one. Could I have? I've not had one single good one yet. Coconut. Right. A baby one. Yeah, a coconut. Yay! There you go. Well, I don't like coconut, but <laughs> <laughs> it's still better than whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I had baby wraps, it was a nasty one. Oh, get a drink, Phil. I'm really about to <laughs> Last right, one. Last one. Black one. You can give it to Toby if you want. <laughs> Toby will love it. Toby's a dog, by the way. <laughs> okay, guys. That's going to be it for today. I've been, <laughs> <laughs> I've, been, I've been your host, Ryan. My two suffering co-hosts today have been Phil and Darren. Goodbye, and we man. will catch you again in the next episode, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. See you later. Adios. <coughs>